and another thing I want to talk about is that, so y you were also in Brebeuf, which was, uh, for those who don't know, a leading French institution here in Montreal, here in Quebec. Now you're in Marinopolis, which is an English one. So for a lot of people, there was this huge uh, transition in terms of language. And so for you, how, how was that for you? Was there any difficulties, any friction in moving to a completely French institution to a completely English, English one? Because for, fortunately, like, I live in an area of Montreal that's relatively bilingual, so there was mm -hmm. no major language concern. Yeah. However, for any advice I can give for any people go, who are studying in one language and then who are transitioning to another language, honestly, I think just just don't be shy and just keep on working at it. Because I think like for Marinopolis, as an English sage, I mean, the both staff, teachers, students are all very friendly. So just yeah. Try, I mean, nobody will make fun of you if you if you're struggling to speak English. And you know, even if somebody make, does make fun of you, that's only one person. You still have everybody else who mm -hmm. will be there, who will likely and potentially be very supportive of you. And so, so a couple of weeks ago, I had Jonathan Ferrari on the show, which is the CEO of Good Food, um, a, a giant online grocery in Canada. So he he was at Brebe for high school, and then he went to Marinopolis. Then he was, he was just, a, I think he was completely a francophone. And then for him, it was that he knew he's going to get into business, the commerce later on, and then English, it's going to be a, a dominant language. So he decided to you know, get out of his comfort zone and just just get at it because he knows he's going to work in English and then he just did it. And then he, he said, it's a, it's a thing that a lot of people should experience uh, having such a dramatic change in your day-to-day -day things that you do, right? Definitely. I think the change is not, is not only in terms of language, but it's also in terms of completely different environments. Because although Brebeuf and Marinopolis are two sages, they have many things that distinguish them. And whether it's, you know, the general vibe, whether it's how people talk, or whether it's, you know, or profoundly, like, what the student body is interested in, you have these big differences. So in terms of, in terms of culture, what do you think are the main differences in terms of culture, values, behavior in the students and the administration between Marinopolis and Brebeuf, which are both two very, very highly ranked SAGEPs in, in the whole province. So between um, Brebeuf and Marinopolis, I think there are like a few really subtle uh, differences. Because I, I mean, I can't, I can only speak for a general case. I can't go sure. that, talking about specific uh, you know, students or specific individuals. But I think at Marinopolis, generally like there's a, uh, you know, like there, there's a, you can say, a very competitive, like a very, you know, I can always do better vibe. While at Brebeuf, it's, there's like a, a large sense of community. There's a large, large sense mm -hmm. of comfort. That's in terms of the vibe. In term, if you want to go more technical, kind of like in terms of like student life, um, at Marinopolis, there are a lot of clubs. You no know, clubs are tend to be, you know, like very friendly. It's like, it's a, mm -hmm. and clubs have like kind of like their own ecosystem. While Brebeuf, there's, Clubs are kind of like a bit more freestyle. It's it's sim it's much more I think much more accessible to start a club to get into clubs than in Marinopolis. Okay, but I think like these are really subtle differences. But the main idea is that you know differences are crucial. I mean, if if all sages were the same, there would be you know there would be like no innovation. There would be like no diver no uh, diversity in creating new things. These sages are like are so different. You can, you, you can like get together and like create some things that nobody have ever, has ever done before.